Hey Gemini, this is Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana, and this is your June mid-monthly reading. Now this is a general reading for the energy of Gemini. If you have Gemini anywhere in your chart, anywhere in your chart, and you can go to Astro Cafe if you'd like to download your birth chart and find out where your planetary positioning is at the time of your birth, um, I highly recommend that you do that if you haven't done it already. It's important to know what's your moon sign, what's your rising sign, what's your sun sign, your Venus sign, and all of the other peripherals that are associated with that. They're all important. So if you have Gemini anywhere in your chart, this reading very, mel very well may resonate with you. Now I want to reiterate that this is a general reading for Gemini, okay? Don't ever, ever, ever make personal decisions based off of a general reading. Not my general reading, not anybody else's general reading, right? Few and far between are general readings talking to you specifically. Sometimes they are. However, if you would like confirmation, understanding, um, um, some... Uh, uh, I lost my train of thought. Sorry, Gemini. If you would like some confirmation of your own intuition, some understanding of the situation, if you'd like to hop into somebody else's head to see what they're thinking about a situation, uh, hit me up at deepthoughtswithdana.com. If you are a subscriber to my channel, I want to reiterate, a subscriber to my channel on YouTube, you can click the link in the box below and get 50% off of a reading. Yep, 50 bucks will hook it up just for you, just for your situation. All right, what else? Any other kind of disclaimers out there? Um, no, I think that is all good. All right, so let's get started with this reading, okay? So we open up this reading with the Knight of Swords. There is some action-orientated communication coming into you about the renewal of a relationship. Now, whether this relationship is love, family, work, doesn't matter, but a relationship in your life. There's some communication, some some rather urgent communication coming into you with the star card about, with the Knight of Swords to the star card about renewing something. This information is brought to you by the Queen of Wands, right? This Queen of Wands, um, seeing as how this is a Gemini reading and there's the Emperor down here, this Queen of Wands very well may be in Aries. Doesn't have to be though. It could just simply be some kind of passionate, fiery um, energy or passionate, fiery messages that are coming into you. They're coming into you in the energy of the King of Swords. So they're coming to you as passionate messages. They're coming at you with the energy of the King of Swords. This is a no nonsense, cut to the chase, no bullshit, Gemini, I want to renew our relationship type of message, right? And this King of Swords, this isn't a text message. This isn't a page that says, hey, Gem, wanna go have lunch? No, this is like some serious communication that's coming into you about renewing a relationship serious communication is clarified by the page of wands oh no the wind's blowing i'm outside no don't blow my cards no okay we're good so this 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 these messages this communication that's coming into you is not only big it's also passionate with the page of wands right and i think that this communication is mostly serious communication with a tinge of of some some flirtiness some passion some ec excitement right it's it's serious communication that has some passion attached to it this queen of wands this king of swords character right here wants public recognition victory progress and success in the relationship however this six of wands is also about somebody falling from your good graces now we say renewal right because there has been something in the past between you something in the past and we have the six of cups reuniting and reconciling in the center of your reading so i'm going to go with the fact that perhaps somebody in the past this king of swords queen of wands kind of thing has fallen from your good graces it was in disrepute of some kind this moon card clarifies that for me. This moon card says that this message is, this message of renewal of this relationship fills you with a, with fear and anxiety and kind of muddies the water waters for you a little bit. This moon card is also about seeing things for what they really are as well. And you have done that. So, so this King of Swords, Queen of Wands character that's bringing in these messages of passionate renewal to you, 
could be perhaps somebody that has been in disrepute or fallen from your good graces in the past. The moon card tells me that you have a lot of confusion, a lot of anxiety, and you just kind of, it, it muddies the waters for you, right? This message with the Knight of Swords is the world card. Let's close out this bad cycle that's been between us, Jem, and let's start a new cycle. Let's renew this whole situation. I apologize. I have passion for you. Um, what I don't see up here is cups, though. I don't see love for you. I see passion for you, and I see intellect towards you, right? And the King of Swords being an air sign, of course. Um, but anyway, I, I, I see more superficial than I do deep in the feels, okay? So, like I said, muddies the waters for you. This, this, this information that's coming into you is about closing out a cycle, starting a new cycle. Well, Jem comes into the picture right here with the Eight of Cups and says, I don't think so. I just don't think so. Clarified in the Eight of Cups is about walking away, right? Where there was despair and sadness, right? And look, this, this guy in this Eight of Cups right here, he's not even mad. He's not even kicking him over. He's not even like, fuck you, kicking the cups over. He's just turning around and walking away, which is what you did at some point in the past. And it's what you are going to do um, at this particular juncture in the reading right here. You're like, no thanks. I said no thanks once before. I'm saying no thanks once again. This is followed by the Six of Cups, which is in the center of your reading about reuniting and reconciling with someone or something from your past. This Eight of Cups to the Six of Cups is clarified by the Nine of Pentacles. This Nine of Pentacles tells me that, that not only is this a culmination to the situation, but it also tells me that perhaps this whole walking away thing right here that you did in the past and you're your, your, your intent on doing again has something to do with your self-sufficiency, right? You're, you're, you're independent, you're doing your thing, and this, this King of Swords, Queen of Wands character comes in and just totally just kicks mud all up in your water, right? You're on the cool, clear water, you're just floating in your floaty, you're all happy with this Nine of Pentacles right here, just all happy, single person probably, hopefully, <laughs> single person, and you're just floating in your floaty in the cool, clear water, and then this King of Wands, Queen of, I'm sorry, Queen of Wands, King of Swords character comes and just like stirs up all the dirt underneath and muddies the waters for you. This is clarified by the King of Cups because even though you have the propensity to just say no thank you and walk away, it still puts you in your feels. It still puts you in your feels, right? That's why you go into the hermit energy, doing some soul searching and some introspection, trying to get to the bottom of how you feel about reuniting and reconciling. Okay, so what we have next is the emperor. This emperor, you can't see it down there. There you go. This emperor is who you're dealing with. And it's interesting to me. This is a different deck of cards, but Taurus had the emperor in the exact same position. Perhaps you're dealing with a Taurus. Perhaps you're dealing with an Aries. Aries also had the, the empress all over their reading. So word, you might be dealing with one or the other or not any of them, but you are dealing with somebody who embodies the energy of the emperor. This is a very... Um, um, the emperor is all about the control, authority, establishment, and structure of your life, right? Which goes right with this king of swords. The king of swords and the emperor, you know, they're like, they're, they're, they're hunting buddies, right? They, they get along really well. They really do. They get along really well. Um, so this is the character that you're dealing with. A strong, in control type of person. This emperor wants the Ace of Wands with you. He wants an inspired new beginning. And I want to reiterate, no cups. The only cups in this reading are you, Gemini. The only cups in this reading are representing your feelings. There's no cups coming from this emperor, this king of swords, this queen of wands. Just word, okay? So this emperor wants an inspired new beginning with you. This puts you in the energy of the Seven of Pentacles, right? Reflection and assessment. Hence, the hermit mode, seeking some, some personal, some, some inner wisdom, some inner guidance, right? Soul searching. So this whole communication from the King of Swords puts you in the hermit where you are um, 
reflecting and assessing the situation. Well, by golly, Gemini, if in this particular circumstance you don't decide to take a regretful but necessary transition right back up here to this Eight of Cups. No, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate the offer, but no thank you, right? So after some assessment in the hermit mode, some reflection, some assessment about your feelings, about this emperor type person, and having any kind of inspired new beginning with a reconciliation, renewal of a relationship, um, Gem's just like, no thank you. No, thank you. I'm, I'm good the way that I am. And I'm just going to paddle off here into calmer waters because you done kick sand up all in my clear, my clear pool that I was floating in, right? Hey, guys, don't fight. Sorry, I'm outside and that was the dogs. Okay. So Gemini is, is taking off. They're like, nope, going into calmer waters. I don't need what you got. Don't want what you got. And uh, see ya, right? Well, this is a good decision, Gemini. This is a great decision. This was probably the universe testing you, right? Because sometimes source brings back our exes to see if we're still stupid, right? And the universe says, good job, Gemini, A plus gold star, you have passed this test. And now, now we are going to open the floodgates so you can bring in what is really meant for you. This is a turning point in your destiny. And this is really cool, Gemini. This is really cool. So you turn this down, you walk away from all of this, the universe opens those floodgates for you, for what it is that is really meant for you. Now, free will is abundant. It's rampant in personal readings and general readings, of course, but I said don't make a decision on a general reading, right? You can divert this any way that you want to. If you are crazy about this King of Swords, Queen of Wands, Emperor person, and all you've been waiting for is them to come back to you, but you have your reservations. Sorry about that, Gem. My camera died because it got too hot in the sunshine, so I had to pull the whole table over here into the shade. Hopefully y'all can still see. I'm gonna pick up right where I left off because I backed up, watched the video, and here we go. So if you are interested in exploring this, right? But you do have your reservations, but you wanna see how it works out, this whole reading would stop right here with the world card, right? And this wheel of fortune would just hang in perpetual counterclockwise motion until this life cycle is completed. Could be forever, you could marry this person, you could marry this emperor person, and, and it will just stay like this, right? However, the universe is saying, Good job, Gemini, because we have some things that are coming for you that are going to blow your mind. What the universe has for you down the road because you were cognizant enough to make a decision out of your own self-love versus some kind of love or affection for somebody that's not showing any kind of feels for you. Um, what the universe has for you is the Two of Cups. They have a unified love relationship waiting for you, Gemini. The Fool with a brand new beginning and a brand new journey in your life to the Empress, right? to the Empress, something of great abundance. They have a unified love relationship that is going to make you feel carefree and um, maybe even a little, uh, I wanted to say reckless, but not in a bad way, right? Because you know what it's like to have new love. New love is like all like, Ooh, la, you know, all bubbly and excited and stuff like that. And that's the energy that I'm pulling off of this fool card, right? So a unified love relationship that is going to just, it's going to take you places with the Empress that you never imagined possible. So the universe has, just to reiterate, the universe, your reward for following your intuition with that Eight of Cups right there and the Six of Swords right here, your reward for listening to spirit is a unified love relationship that's going to take you on a brand new beginning and a brand new journey and it's going to bring so much abundance into your life, Gemini, that you're not going to freaking believe it. So there is your reading. I will splice this video together. Sorry about that, but I'll splice this video together and um, just know 
you got a lot coming in for you. You have a unified love relationship that is going to bring a ton of abundance into your life because you listened to your intuition and you walked away from some kind of relationship where there's 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 no cups, right? The only cups in this whole reading are yours, this one, this one, and this one. It's the only cups in the whole reading. So take that into advisement, Gemini. All right, if you'd like a personal reading with me, you can hit me up at deepthoughtswithdana.com. If you're a subscriber to my YouTube channel, please click the link below. You can get a $50 reading, hook you up just like this, just for you, just for your situation. If you like this video, please like it. If you want to share, please share. And I read every comment that y'all drop and I respond to most of them sometimes it's like a week or two out but nevertheless I do come back around and I read every single one of them so there you go my beautiful Gemini's namaste